Several people have asked if it's okay to up the DPI on images because print-on-demand printers such as Zazzle or Cafe Press require a higher DPI. Well, no you can't, and this is to show you why. This image I've made on the screen, although while it appears ugly and random, it is actually an image of individual pixels. Every one of these little blue, red, or yellow squares is one pixel. Your average photograph is going to be 2,000 pixels wide by maybe 1,200 pixels high. Could be 3,600 pixels wide, could be 2,200 pixels wide. It depends on the camera that you have and what the megapixels of your camera is. So while this zoomed in looks like this, when you zoom it out, this would be what your photograph would look like. And obviously this is not a photograph of an image, this is just an example. This, however, is what your photograph actually looks like when zoomed in. If you zoom one of your photographs all the way in to 1600%, you'll start to see that your image is all these little dots. Maybe they're closer together in colors. They're 10 different shades of green or 10 different shades of blue. Very subtle changes, but they're still individual dots. Now, if I go into image and go to image size and my image says it's 250 by 250, which is what I made, and I just up the resolution, the DPI to say 250, now it says that it needs 868 pixels in order to make the image this many inches by this many inches at this DPI. Well, Photoshop has to magically create those extra 618 pixels. And the only thing it can do is try to match the nearest neighbor on it. Unfortunately, this is not an exact science and it will cause your image to go blurry. This is what happens if you hit okay. Now my image no longer is these pretty crisp lines, instead it's muted and fuzzy. So as I zoom it out, you'll see that my image while it doesn't look horrible, because it was just stripes, it does look fuzzy. Whereas before, at that size, it didn't look fuzzy. You could see each and every square crisp and clean. This is the reason why you can't up the DPI without also lowering the pixel number. So what you would need to do is go into image size and if you're gonna up this to 250 you have to then lower this back to 250 and you will see that it downsizes your image to only a one inch by one inch image. However, when you now click OK, no fuzziness is created because we didn't have to magically create pixels to fill in all those gaps in between the pixels because you made more pixels than there were. Now when it comes to loading to Zazzle, it doesn't matter if your image is this, 250 by 250 by 72, or this, 250 by 250 by 300. As you can see, the image is exactly the same. The only difference is that this screen will now show you when it's 250 by 250 by 250, the image can only print at one inch. So if Zazzle is printing at 250, your image is printing at one inch. Whereas before you were under the assumption that your image was three, three and a half inches, roughly by three and a half inches. But that would be if it only printed at 72 DPI and it doesn't. Zazzle prints much higher than that. Right now they're currently printing at 150. However, they could change that at any time and up that to a higher number. So it doesn't, this number, the, the DPI is not relevant and the inches are not relevant. It's the pixel by pixel that matters. However, if you want to up this, you have to make sure you move this back to where it belongs because they can't magically create pixels and make your image still be clear.